Park in Tubber Curry in County Sligo for one of the big days in the ladies football schools calendar in 2024. This is the little All-Ireland Post Primary School Senior C final between St Columbus Comprehensive School in County Donegal and Dunmore Community School in County Galway. Hard to believe in the weather that we've had in 2024. The sun is out, only a mild breeze and both teams really looking forward to the occasion as you can see in the middle of your fields the two captains getting ready with the match referee who is Gus Chapman from County Sligo. My name is Darren Kelly. We'll be here with you throughout the whole contest. Every kick of the ball, the two captains, number 14, Mia Bennett of St. Columbus, and number six in the black jersey is Caitlin Sweeney from Dunmore Community School. They are the two captains. We'll just watch the toss, and then we will run through the two teams that line up in this big game, and a real great excitement for both groups of players. So the referee just given his instructions there to the two captains. St. Columbus from Donegal are wearing the white jerseys with the maroon band and they're up against the Galway opposition in the black jerseys uh, mixed with the green as well. It's more an equal black and green. Green or towards the front, black towards the back and you can see there now everybody is looking forward to it. There's a grey atmosphere here as well. If even if you want to see some of the school support there, we'll just show you on the hill to the goal to our left, the Dunmore and Glenties fans. Uh, they'll be having the banter over the course of the contest but they will be adding to the occasion so we we'll just wait now for the toss to take place it has taken place here now and we will see what way it's going to go it looks like that Dunmore have won the toss and we're just seeing what the decision of the captain will be uh, taking her time there to make this decision it is a big decision of course and lots of them will be I think Dunmore will be attacking the goal to the left we'll confirm that before the throw in but let's run through the two teams and we'll follow the uh, St Columbus captain Mia Bennett heading back to her team and they line out the 1-15 to as named during the week in goal for St Columbus in, in number one is Emily Whittington full back line two is Rena Doherty three Orla Malloy and four is Realteen Doherty the half back line where number five is Kayla McHugh Centre back number six is Caitlin Sweeney and seven is Emma McDevitt. In midfield where number eight is Ava Caulfield. Part number number nine, Cora Doherty. The half forward line ten, Sophie Campbell. Eleven, Jessica Gallagher and twelve is Eva McDermott. And the inside line, top of the right, number thirteen, Quiva Gallagher. Full forward number fourteen is the captain, Mia Bennett. And top of the left where number fifteen is Eve Boyle Carr. Their manager is Charlene McNeil. And now we will look at the Dunmore Community School team. So Dunmore have one change from the 15 announced during the week. In goal, Erica Diskin, who did play in the All-Ireland semi-final lines out, wearing number 16. She is the goalkeeper. The full-back line, two, Eva Daly. Three is Alicia Costello. And four is Shannon Kilgariff. The half-back line were number five, Emma Concannon. Centre-back number six, we've mentioned already, is the captain, Maeve Hanley. And seven is Chloe Diskin. In midfield, where number eight is Katie Slattery. Part number number nine, Isabel Murray. The half-forward line, ten, Rebecca Noon. Eleven is Megan Healy and 12 is Emma Heenhan. And the inside line, top of the right, number 13, Lily Kearney. Full four, number 14 is Grace Dooley. And top of the left, where number 15 is Amy O'Connor. A few position switches in that team. Emma Heenan will drop back to wing back. Shannon Kilgariff will go up to wing forward. And Emma Concannon, the number five, will drop into the corner. Their bonus door is Susan O'Reilly. So both teams now just in their final huddles. Conditions absolutely perfect and a great atmosphere here. Buses from both schools. There was a lot of them around us here in the commentary box not long before we started our broadcast. But they've decided to take advantage of the elements. Of course, being in Ireland, you never know what way the weather is going to turn. But very few dark clouds, if any. And you can hear the supporters there. Many of the Dunmore fans near us here, but there's plenty too from Glinties. And of course, one thing you should check out there if you're a Glinties supporter is check out the school's Facebook page. Their own version of Ireland's Call, or McNeil's Call. A uh, wonderful uh, musical put together in anticipation of the match. Will they be singing that going back to Donegal this evening? Or will Dunmore, who won this competition back in 2005, who lost in All-Ireland Junior C final 12 months ago, Will they have their moment now and finally get their hands on the silverware? So it's actually Dunmore attacking the goal to the right in the first half. You can see there are two midfielders in the middle of the park there and they are a formidable pair, are Katie Slattery and Isabel Murray. Played in the junior final last year, multi-talented in different sports and they will be determined to make their mark on this game. So St. Columbus, their midfielders taking their time, keeping their opponents waiting. It's all part of the dances, they say. 
Gus Chapman, the Sligo referee, checking that everything is okay. And we are good to go here in Kilcoyne Memorial Park in Tubbercurry. This, the little All-Ireland Senior C Ladies Football Final of 2024. Some of the spectators there join us here in the commentary box, but the ball is thrown in. The game is on, and it's Glenn Teeth who take it first to Ava Caulfield. Ava Caulfield, the number eight, moving up the field, being chased by Isabel Murray. Gives the pass off, the advantage given for a free. It was going in the direction of Cora Doherty, but it comes back for the foul on Ava Caulfield and St Columbus will get the opportunity to go for the first score in the game. As I mentioned, barely a drop of breeze. I can say I can't feel any breeze here. There's absolutely none, even for the young supporters, and plenty of flags here today. A quick free taken. We'll go back to that. Kayla McHugh with the ball. Gives it back to Ava Caulfield. Ava Caulfield to Eva McDermott. Just Glenty's on the 45-meter line. Cora Doherty was their player of the match in the Ulster final. Gives it to the captain, Mia Bennett. Mia down the right. Goes for a kick at the post. The umpire has a look at it and says it goes across the goal to the left and wide first attack of the game it comes from the Ulster champions but no score for them they beat Bailborough of Cavan 316 to 210 in the Ulster final on the 26th of February and then enjoyed a 115 to 36 win over St. Joseph's Secondary School, Spanish Point in County Clare in the semi final back on the 9th of March, just 11 days ago. Emma Concannon gave the ball off there to Katie Slattery. Katie Slattery on the move, or Dunmore has won the foul, the advantage is given, kicks it down in towards the attack. Can Dunmore have more success as Lily Kearney sends it down to Megan Healy. Megan Healy trying to find a way inside, gives it up to Rebecca Noon. She is the tallies player for Dunmore. Got 110 in their All-Ireland semi-final win, but it's St. Columbus that win the ball back and they bring it out towards the 20 metre line and still no score in the early stages. Both, both teams showing a willingness to have a go. Eva McDermott with the pass off to Cora Doherty in the just inside her own 65 meter line the referee says she took too many steps so it's going to be a free for Dunmore Community School and it looks like it's going to be Isabel Murray that will take this she got three points in their All-Ireland semi-final victory over Loretto Secondary School in Kilkenny back on the 7th of March. Beforehand, they beat St. Louis Community School Kiltima by 119-19 to in the Connacht final. Maeve Hanley, the captain, back to Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray in the 45 meter line gives it back to Maeve. Maeve Hanley pushes forward for Dunmore, looking around for options. The green and black jerseys will be patient. Katie Slattery outside the D. Thought about having a look there, but the good defending from Glentys in the early stages. Isabel Murray kicks it out the far side of the fields, down towards Megan Healy. Megan Healy likes to run on the left or the right, coming in on the left at the moment here now. We'll try and get a shot, chance with the right peg. Goes for the kick at the post, and Megan Healy puts the ball over the bar in the third minute of the game. And Dunmore Community School take the lead. They're number 11, Megan Healy with the point, and it's one point to nil. I mentioned Dunmore last won this competition back in 2005. The last time a Galway team won it was Kalashta by the Clore in 2018. Rebecca Noon on the move there, gives the pass inside. And this is Grace Dooley. Grace Dooley out to Katie Slattery inside the D, attacking the goal to the right. Isabel Murray turns on her right, goes for a kick at the pose, drops into the hands of the goalkeeper, Emily Whittington. And she finds Real Team Doherty, the number four. And back there helping out is Eve Boyle Carr. She is a sister of the multi-talent Donegal footballer and AFLW player Amy Boyle Carr. Free out for Glenties. The school officially called St. Columbus, but many call them Glenties as well. And more supporters working their way inside. Indeed, just as I say that, many of the uh, Glenties supporters are in here now. Just passing our commentary position. Trying to find a good spot to watch the match. They want to watch Sophie Campbell. She wears number 10. But good work there by Katie Slattery. Sophie Campbell holds on to the ball. The advantage is given. Cora Doherty moving down towards the 45. Expected to get very loud here in the commentary box. Just adding to the occasion. Cora Doherty with a pass outside. Now coming inside is Kayla McHugh. Looks like she's playing an attacking role as Kayla McHugh. She's wearing number 5. Finds a teammate. That teammate is the captain, Mia Bennett. 
Amia Bennett there just trying to move it quickly out to Eva McDermott. Eva McDermott with a pass inside towards Jessica Gallagher. Jessica Gallagher shot a goal! A goal for St. Columbus! And it's Jessica Gallagher who puts the ball into the back of the net on the fifth minute of the game. And what a strike that is for the Ulster champions. I don't know if she was going for goal deliberately or not, but she took the opportunity after the pass in by Eva McDermott. And it's Jessica Gallagher with the goal. One goal to St. Columbus. A point to Dunmore. But Dunmore on the move again. This is Lily Kearney. And she'll be disappointed with that. Lily Kearney slices the ball to the right and wide just when Dunmore could have done with a response and getting a score back straight away. But what an exciting start. The Glinty supporters have worked their way near us here in the commentary box. We support us from Dunmore here right behind us as well. But we're focused on the action and we're focused on Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon with a kick inside just over hit to Lily Kearney on that occasion. St. Columbus will take it back. Their number two is Eva Daly. And she gives the ball off to Katie Slattery. Katie Slattery inside her own 45 meter line. Her team two points in front. Eva Daly back to Katie. And Katie Slattery now will bring it towards the 65 meter line. And he decides to kick down in the direction of Quiva Gallagher. Number 13. A tangle between herself and actually I was mixing my players up because Rena Doherty was the number two for St. Columbus. Apologies about that. We'll go back down and watch the action here as this is Jessica Gallagher. No mistake in her name, she's the goal scorer. Quiva Gallagher, Eve Boyle Carr, back to Jessica again. Eve Boyle Carr, taking about down for a shot. The two number 15s close to each other into the hands of Erica Diskin, the goalkeeper for Dunmore, and kicks the ball out the field. Did she find the intended target? Don't think she did. Kayla McHugh holding onto the ball and back towards the 65 meter line. Dunmore to their credit are putting pressure on the 50-50 balls. They have had probably the majority of the scoring opportunities even if they trail. This is Megan Healy. And Megan Healy outside the D, the pass to Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon looking for her first of the day. And it's disappointing for her that that ball goes to the right and wide and Dunmore Community School have certainly left two scoring opportunities behind since they conceded the goal. Rebecca Noon scored nine points in the Connacht final. She got 1-10 in the semi-final victory over Loretto Secondary School. That game played in the dry G tree surface at University of Limerick. It's dry here on the grass today as Emily Whittington restarts the action, but Dunmore with the ball again. Megan Healy with possession. She's gotten one already. Can she get a second? Good defending there and uh, Racy Doherty will take possession of the ball. Well, she found a teammate. This is Sophie Campbell. Sophie Campbell to Caitlin Sweeney and the Glenties on the move again. South Donegal. Four clubs feed into their school. Cora Doherty with the pass off to Eva McDermott. Eva McDermott moving down. She's looked very lively in the early stages. Down the right. That's where the record was hate to be made. The pass into Mia Bennett doesn't work out. Erica Diskin wins the ball for Dunmore. Give the pass out to Eva Daly. The correct Eva Daly in this occasion, and it's going to be a free out for Dunmore inside their own 45 meter line. Shannon Kilgariff gives the pass off to Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray with a kick into space. Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon has support coming off the shoulder from Megan Healy. Megan Healy moves down close towards the goal. They want to make sure they get something out of this. They might look for more. Rebecca Noon with the pass inside. Done more with a chance. A shot across the goal from Lily Kearney. The ball hasn't even gone wide yet, I don't think. And it remains in play. But Dunmore just the shooting boots are not on at the moment. They might get better luck here with a shot at the posts. And on that occasion, the ball has gone over the bar. And Dunmore finally get their second score of the game. And it comes from their wing forward, Rebecca Noon, getting off the mark. It came, the original shot from Lily Kearney, going across the face of goal. But the ball stayed in play. Dunmore chased it down. They get their score. Nine minutes gone. At St. Columbus, one goal. Dunmore Community School, two points. Kayla McHugh, the far side of the fields. Being marshalled by Isabel Murray. Michaela McHugh has come out now of the stand in, in a attacking role. 
Gives the pass off for Jessica Gallagher. Jessica Gallagher to Cora Doherty. Cora Doherty in the middle of the park went into an opponent. Didn't find a way through but found Sophie Campbell. Good play here from Glentys to Cora Doherty again going forward. The advantage over the free was given. So it's going to be a free in for St. Columbus. Just outside the D, attacking the goal to the left. This is their opportunity now. So this game on the Ladies Football TV YouTube page. Mia Bennett brought to you in association with Stream Sport. Mia Bennett with the free to try and put our team two points in front again. It's going into the goalkeeper. Eric Diskin wasn't taking any chances, kicks the ball out. And it's now in the possession of Maeve Hanley. So the referee blew the whistle there. And wherever you are in the world, we hope you're enjoying this game. I want to say a big shout out to Denise Breslin. She's watching from Dubai, saying good luck to the St. Columbus Gentis girls, especially number 13, Quiva Gallagher. We get two more messages when we get a chance. We're watching Katie Slannery. Oh, and a high challenge. The referee says no foul. A judge that the forward had run into the defender. And it's going to come out now with Sophie Campbell. Sophie Campbell just can't get control of the ball. Surrounded by two Dunmore players, but Sophie Campbell shows great skill to keep control of it. Kick down towards the attack. And now this is Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray holding it, Dunmore just trying to slow it down for a moment. Emma Cannon with the ball across the field. 265 meter lines and a kick down towards the attack. So the number 14 is Grace Dooley. Has come out a little bit, gives it to Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon has the advantage, has been fouled. But Dunmore keep playing on, going for a kick at the post. But we're going to go back for the free, I think. But again, just Dunmore will be disappointed to miss the opportunity anyway. It was a kick from Grace Dooley. So a free in for Dunmore, and this will be a chance for them to level it. Many more good luck, Glenty, from Tara Rose and Sammy. That's coming from Sammy McGinnis Mahan. And you can see they're lively here as Rebecca Noon takes the free for Dunmore, and the ball goes to the right and wide. So Dunmore with another wide. So the goalkeeper kicks the ball out. And Glenty's just holding the ball in defence there, but the referee says they did so illegally. So another free for Dunmore, another opportunity. They certainly have the majority of the play have Dunmore in this match. But St. Columbus won't mind, they lead in the scoreboard. This is Emma Heenan, back to Katie Slattery. But oh, there's a great dispossession there from Aoife McDermott. Back in defence, she set up the goal. And now won a ball back for Glinty's. The number 12 is certainly standing out in the early stages of this game for the Ulster champions. Pass to Sophie Campbell, but control the ball. Good work being put in by Lily Kearney. So it's gone out for a Dunmore ball, I think. And it's going to be Isabel Murray gives the pass off for Megan Healy. Megan Healy inside for Shannon Kilgariff. Shannon Kilgariff trying to find a player inside, but Rena Doherty just got a little touch there. Hasn't managed to take back control. It's still a bit done more. Rebecca Noon goes for the kick at the post. And the sides are level. Rebecca Noon puts the ball over the bar in the 14th minute of the game. And it's three points to Dunmore Community School. One goal to St. Columbus Comprehensive in County Donegal. Emily Whittington waiting for the instructions. It's hard to believe that the Glenties only had eight players at their first training session back in October. But they believed they got the rest involved and here they are in the All-Ireland Final. Kayla McHugh goes to ground. So it's going to be a free in. Looks like Kayla McHugh is going to take this free herself outside the 45-meter line. 
Looking around for options there. Decides to kick back to Emma McDevitt. Emma McDevitt moving forward, but Shannon Kilgariff sticks with her. Gives it back to Kayla McHugh. Cora Doherty on the 45 metre line. Moving down towards the goal. She has the pace. Cora Doherty's on the move here. Looks for a player inside. Chance ever Glenties for a second goal. It's in the net. It's Ebon Carr. It's Ebon Carr. Puts the ball to the back of the net. And Glenties have their second goal. An excellent move there as well. On the quarter hour. And Ebon Carr makes it two goals to three points and what movement there Cora Doherty involved in that as well there was another player in the move that was the number 15 to finish it off and the Donegal side lead by three again Isabel Murray goes for the kick in the post and it goes across the goal four wides to one to Dunmore against Dunmore you should say I tell you what I think was that Mia Bennett involved in the goal? It was Eve Boylegaard that got the goal, but who, just want to double check it, who laid the pass off to her? Cora Doherty to Mia Bennett, E Boylegaard, Billy Cos here, a colleague beside me there, just confirming those details. Cora Doherty on the move again. Cora Doherty is starting to stamp her authority in the middle of the park. Great cut out there by Alicia Costello for Dunmore. One that they need it. And this is a very, very entertaining game. We hope you're enjoying it wherever in the world you are. This, the little All Ireland Senior C Ladies Football Final of 2024. Megan Healy for Dunmore. They are, there's lots of gaps in, in this side of the field, but somehow the Glenties defenders get in the way. Our Dunmore don't take advantage of it. That's a fifth wide. Still a lot of football to be played. The last time an Ulster team won this competition was St. Catherine's from Armagh back in 2007. Now the referee, oh, referee is saying, we're not sure was there a hold up, the referee is saying, kick it out, get on with it. So now it, this is Ava Caulfield. So Ava Caulfield out the far side to Eva McDermott. Eva McDermott skipping between the two 65 meter lines, gives it to Cora. Cora Doherty gets away from Emma Heenahan, moving down the right. This is where St. Columbus have done damage in the game. Down for Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett trying to come inside, looking for options. Three defenders with her. Referee's happy for play to continue on. The Glinty supporters here to our left are not happy, but in fairness to the referee, bar one or two times he's blown for steps, he's let them get on with it in this All Ireland final. Foul committed in the end. Looks like it's going to be a free out for Dunmore. Isabel Murray fouled on that occasion. So I'm not too sure now if uh, he's having a chat with somebody. Takes a note in the book, of course, in ladies football, three ticks. We get a yellow, that's a send men, down to 14 players. Glenties win the ball back, great work there by Quiva Gallagher. Our fans in Dubai will be celebrating that, she has the ball again. Back towards Sophie Campbell. Sophie Campbell trying to get away from Eva Daly. And Sophie Campbell moves down the right. Goes for a kick at the post. Off the upright. Who's going to be quickest to react? Amy O'Connor is there for Dunmore. And Han passes it out to a teammate. But they're still inside their own 20 metre line. Maeve Hanley bringing it up towards the 45. Looking around for support there as well as the captain for Dunmore. Member of the Michael Glavies Club in County Roscommon. They'll be cheering on Dunmore today. Good block down again by Aoife McDermott. She wins the free. And a chance to restart the action. Aoife McDermott has been joint captain of the Donegal under-16s in the past. Kicks it back to Caitlin Sweeney, the number six. She gives it to Sophie Campbell. It's definitely on the left flank. It's very tight battles. On the right, it's more room. Cora Doherty, though, gives it out to the right. Looks for Ava Caulfield. Ava Caulfield trying to get within range. Amy O'Connor sticking with her, but Ava Caulfield gets a kick at the post. And that one goes to the right and wide, second wide of the game for St. Columbus. A great appreciation being shown by their supporters for the effort being put in. Play restarts. Up the far side field, I don't think the referee was ready for it. So we're going to go back for the kick out from Erica Diskin. 
It's inside the 20 meter line there. Great occasion it is, and the weather doing its bit. Lots of students here, lots of buses. Point in favour parents on a midweek day, but it certainly favours the students, and they're loving what they're watching, especially if you're from Glenties. This is Amy O'Connor for Dunmore, trying to get past Mia Bennett. Does manage to get a few yards up the field and finds Rebecca Noon, who's come back in defence to help out. But Sophie Campbell's not making it easy. And the battle for possession. And it's won back by the number 10 for St. Columbus. She gives it to Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett down the left-hand side of the field. Good defending by Alicia Costello. And it's won now by Katie Slattery. And Katie Slattery for Dunmore, who's up the field. Just runs in to Emma McDevitt. But the referee says an elbow went in, so it's going to be a free for Dunmore. For Katie Slattery to get us going again. Ten minutes plus injury time to half time. St. Columbus Comprehensive School from County Donegal, two goals. Dunmore Community School from County Galway, three points. And it's Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray on the 45 meter line. The pass out to Katie Slattery. Katie Slattery with possession there. Trying to find a way past Eva McDermott, who's back helping out in defence again. Pass it across. The two midfielders combining well. They are lethal when they get going. Isabel Murray with the pass out to the left, the blue boots of Megan Healy. Megan Healy gets within range, goes for the kick. It's going to be close, but it's good enough. It's gone over the bar. 21 minutes into the game. And it's back to a two point ball game. Megan Healy with her second. It's done more, four points. St. Columbus, two goals. And we start the action. It's an interesting system there. All the players bunching into the middle. No doubt it's something that Charlene McNeil and her management team have been working on. As we mentioned earlier on, they've had the song named after the manager. Well, they have the trophy to back it up. Player on the ground there at the moment. Looks like it's Cora Doherty. recent winner of the school's young player of the year as we mentioned there Rod, she was the player of the match when they won the Ulster final she thinks she can shake it off so skips away at the moment anyway we'll keep an eye on her progress down the field and it didn't touch Katie Slattery kept the hands back well, the Lions person here in the near side of the field telling us that it is a Dunmore ball and when we start the action, the pass finds Chloe Diskin. Chloe Diskin to Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray with possession, moving towards the 45 meter line. Marking her there is Ava Caulfield, but she gets the pass inside for Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon getting a bit closer, and passes off. This is Megan Healy. Megan Healy looking for a turn of the day. She dipped it over the bar. She thought about more, I would feel, but she gets a point. It's back to a one point ball game. It's done more, five points. St. Columbus, two goals. Just to let you know, it's still early stages, but we have to have a result on the day. If they finish level after the 60 minutes, we will have extra time. We will have free kicks in EB. The Dunmore fans have joined us here with the Clinties fans as well. And trust me, you're going to enjoy watching the sing song going on behind us, as well as the action on the field of play. Good crack. Good banter, and that's what our finals are all about. Cora Doherty with the ball for St. Columbus. Gives it to the captain, Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett thinks about going for a shot at that post. They haven't got a white flag yet, uh, but they have now. Mia Bennett with the score. Puts it over the bar. Out in the right again. And it's now 2-1 to St. Columbus. Five points, two done more. With six and a half minutes remaining to have time. And we've just given you the scoreboard there as well as the Glinty's fans are reminding us of. No doubt there'll be plenty more of that back and forth before the end of the game. Eva Daly for Dunmore. Down the far side of the field. Has gained a good few yards. Reaches the 45 but ran into trouble. Teammate there is to pick up the breaking ball. And this is Isabel Murray. Moving down. Goes for a kick in the balls. Oh, into the hands. Came up the crossbar. Who's going to win the race? And it goes out wide. It must have been a touch of Rebecca Noon, but Rena Darney got back there very, very quickly for Glinties. And that could have created a goal for Dunmore. Not to be. 
The referee is going in for a chat, just to confirm it definitely was a wide, not a 45. But the umpires, not too sure. It was hard to tell ourselves it happened so fast, and it was great defending from Rena Doherty, nonetheless. She was a Donegal under 16 player in 2022. So I think the decision is going to stand. Referee just going over for a chat. Megan Healy was assuming she was getting a 45. Not to be. So they kick out. And it finds Ava Caulfield. Ava Caulfield to Sophie Campbell. Sophie Campbell offloads the ball in the direction of Caitlin Sweeney. She wears number six. Caitlin Sweeney down to Quiva Gallagher. Quiva Gallagher on the move now for St. Columbus. Inside the 45 meter line. Has support but decides to back herself. Quiva Gallagher. Uh, it gets inside the D. She's getting within range. Will she lay it off or will she go over the point herself? Into the hands of the goalkeeper. Just didn't have the power to bring that over the ball. Bar. But a great run it was by Quiva Gallagher. Dentys have it back again. This is Cora Doherty. Cora Doherty to Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett into the hands of a defender. And Erica Diskin takes the ball. And gives it out in the direction of Emma Concannon. Emma Concannon with a low kick down. But it's cut out by Caitlin Sweeney. St. Columbus is starting to enjoy a good spell here. Regards possession. Kayla McHugh trying to find a way inside. Has the advantage. Can she keep going? We're going back with the free. Kayla McHugh was fouled. So it will be a free in. For St. Columbus, we have to say we hope you can hear us loud and clear because there's a great atmosphere here in the background. We can barely hear ourselves, but we're enjoying it all. Mia Bennett's going to take the free. Four minutes plus injury time to half time. The Borons are out. Mia Bennett getting ready on the 13 meter line. It should be a routine score. Kicks the ball. The ball goes over the bar, and there's three points between them. It's 2 2. To Glenties, five points to Dunmore. And Erica Diskin will get us going again. Has played in All Ireland minor soccer semi final with her school. That was last year. This is Megan Healy. Megan Healy with the pass four for Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray on the 45 meter line. Has the ball for Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon, will she take them on herself? She is on her own. Rebecca Noon goes in a bit closer. We'll go over. Shall we go? A goal for Dunmore. And Rebecca Noon puts the ball into the back of the net. It didn't look on at the start, but she has comes with a reputation for taking on defenders. There was four of them around her, and she wins. No, goes to the goal, kicked it into the far corner. The sides are level again. It's done more, 1-5, St. Columbus 2-2, and all of a sudden the songs behind us have changed. However, Cora Doherty wants to re-establish the status quo. Gives it to Eve Boyle Carr, the score of the second goal. This is Eva McDermott. Eva McDermott moving down the left-hand side off the fields. Eva McDermott getting within range. Just got cut out, but gives the pass off for Rainty Doherty. Rainty Doherty to Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett, can she get range for a shot? They're queuing up. Eva McDermott goes for the kick. And St. Columbus go back in front. Eva McDermott. With the score, good response from the Donegal team. They lead by a point, 2-3 to 1-5. And I think we're going to have a substitution for Dunmore. So number 26, Sarah Hartness. But we watch the action in the field of play there first as Ava Coffin gives the pass inside. Denty's looking for another kick in the pose. It's Quiva Gallagher. And Quiva Gallagher puts the ball over the bar. Just as the substitution is taking place. And there's two between them again. A point for Quiva Gallagher. We can tell you Sarah Harton is on the field to play for Dunmore. She's another survivor of last year's All-Ireland Junior Final. And coming off for her is number 13. And that's Lily Kearney. So the first change meant before half time. We're just over a minute of normal time. And Glenties are putting pressure on the Dunmore kickouts. Quiva Gallagher in there battling for possession again. It's going to be a free out for Dunmore. Well, what an, an entertaining first half that we've had here. And it's all to play for as Eva Daly restarts the action. Kicks the ball down the field. Inside the 65 meter line, it comes across from Megan Healy. Megan Healy has the board to slice the ball a bit towards Katie Slattery, but the midfielder went back to get it. Down again towards Rebecca Noon. 
She's a smell for it now. The orange and yellow boots. Ball breaks Carly for Racing Darley. Gentis have the advantage. And they'll bring it out towards the 65 year line. Caitlin Sweeney to Ava Caulfield. Ava Caulfield on the move there. Has Eva McDermott beside her. But she's using up the ground here in Tupper Curry. And Ava Caulfield continues to keep going. Didn't lay it off of. Gives it to Mia Bennett. The captain. Holding on to possession. Trying to get inside Eva Daly. Has support there. This is Quiva Gallagher. She's got one already. Quiva Gallagher with the kick. Got the power in that, but not the accuracy. That ball goes to the left and wide. The 30 minutes have been played in the first half. I'm not too sure if the officials here beside us will give us any indication how much at a time we have. We do have four officials today. A fourth official, two lines people, and of course the referee in the middle. No countdown clock here. So we'll keep going until the referee says otherwise. Kick down for the Dunmore attack doesn't materialise. And it's going to be a sideline kick for St. Columbus inside their own 45 metre line. And there's a shout out as well to our friend and colleague Dermot Flaherty, who's watching the action here as well in the ladies' football pages. The referee has blown the half time whistle. And indeed, it is half time there for a moment. It was hard to hear the whistle. But what a first half of football we have had. And not just the singing behind us here in the commentary box. Two goals for St. Columbus. The first from Jessica Gallagher. The second from E. Boyle Carr. Gave them a two goal to three point advantage. But the more kept themselves in touch with Megan Healy getting three points. And like Glitchy looked like they were going to hold on to that lead, and indeed they did eventually. But Rebecca Noon with a Dunmore goal on 27 minutes leveled the teams for the second time. However, the last two scores came for the Donegal School from Eva McDermott and from Quiva Gallagher, and it gives them a two point advantage at half time. We're going to take a break here for five to ten minutes, but we'll be back with live coverage of this little All Ireland Senior C Ladies Football Final. The halftime score, it's Glen Daisy lead by two points, but Dunmore are still in the match. The halftime score here in Dublin Curry, St. Columbus Comprehensive School from Donegal, 2 4. Dunmore Community School from County Galway, 1 5.
Good afternoon, thank you very much and welcome back here to Kilcoyne Memorial Park in Tubber Curry, where it's half time in the little All Ireland Senior C Ladies Football Final and it's St Columbus Comprehensive School who lead uh, Dunmore Community School by 2-4 to 1-5 and as we touched on in a few occasions in the first half, an unbelievable atmosphere up here. Indeed, there were the, the banter uh, led to some water being fired during the half time. We have a few teachers and students just creating a bit of a wall between the rival supporters at the moment. The Dunmore supporters are right here behind us, but the Kenty supporters not that far away. But all in good spirit, it has to be said as well. As you can see, Dunmore are on the field of play, getting ready for the start of the second half, as is the match referee, Gus Chapman, from County Sligo. No sign of St. Columbus yet. Oh, no doubt we will have them very, very shortly. It gives us a chance just to look at the scoring in this game. The two goals for St. Columbus coming from Jessica Gallagher and from Eve Boyle Carr. Two points for Mia Bennett and points apiece for Eva McDermott and Quiva Gallagher. They are the scores for Glenties. The scores were done more when Megan Healy has gotten three points and Rebecca Noon has scored one, two. They are their scores in this game so far. And... The sing songs has been uh, Neil Diamond sang, um, N17 from the Saw Doctors sang. Uh, we've had a concert here as well. And look, at the end of the day, you'll hear cheers, you'll hear booze, and that's what it's all about. Everybody enjoying themselves, and that's what everyone here is doing. As you can he hear and see, the uh, St. Columbus are back in the field for the second half. Uh, no signs of any substitutions we can see at the moment. But well, we'll update you on those if there is any as well. But well, nervous, anxious, excited supporters uh, looking forward to seeing will it be their school who are going home with the All Ireland title? So, another 30 minutes. Remember, we have to have a winner. And if they finish level after the 60 minutes, we will have extra time. We might have free kicks. It could be a long afternoon of singing, dancing and moving with the football here in the County Sligo venue. The ball is thrown in. The second half is underway. And it's done more in possession at the moment. And it's Katie Stattery moving down the field. Bit of space in front of her there. Isabel Murray's gone in front. The pass wasn't the best, but it still found the target. She has won the free. And Dunmore will get an opportunity, but it all depends if this goes over. Uh, we'll see if it'll be given, or I think the referee had blown the whistle. So we're going back for the free. So that won't be a point, but it, no doubt it'll be a chance coming up here. They trail by two points. And this is Rebecca Noon. Rebecca Noon, joint top scorer in the game so far with Mia Bennett. Can she bring it back to a one point ball game? Rebecca Noon with the free, puts the ball over the bar. 40 seconds into the second half and it's 1-6 for Dunmore 2-4 for Glinties Rebecca Noon with the free for the Galway and Connacht side so the short uh, kick out Sophie Campbell takes possession Glinties with the ball inside the own 45 meter line as we mentioned there's no wind advantage if you can see any of the flags there on your screen you'll see they're barely moving one in the middle slightly going to the right which would indicate it's favour of the Donegal team but Trust me, it's not going to have any influence on who wins this All-Ireland Final. It's all about the players on the field of play and their determination, their heart, their commitment to get their side over the line. So the referee has blown the whistle. I think it's going to be a throw-in ball. Just wants every player back. Because Chapman, not happy with something. Of course, with St. Columbus as well, they recently won a basketball county title. So very talented in many different sports, as are Dunmore, not just the women, of course, their lads men in All-Ireland semi-final this year in Senior B. Not to be lost to Abby Fies on that occasion. This is Katie Slattery. Many of those lads are here cheering on at the girls here today. The free is won by Glenties, and the kick across to Cora Doherty. And Cora Doherty sends it down towards Jessica Gallagher. Jessica Gallagher long ball towards the attack, hoping to Quiva, also the Gallagher clan, to get in the end of that, but the hand was out, the free out. He's a grab of the jersey. The referee will have a quick chat with the St. Columbus number 13. It just gives her a ticking. So, no yellow cards in the game so far. We would hope there would be none before the end of it, but it's that type of contest. A tense, determined, fierce, competitive, but so enjoyable. 
Emma Heenan, far side of the field, up against Kayla McHugh. Emma Heenan, outside the 65 meter line, has the advantage, gives it to Sarah Hartnett. Sarah Hartnett on the move, inside the 45 meter line, as she kept it in place, she has, says the lines person. Referee has blown the whistle. <laughs> Just in case we forget to tell you the score that's on your screen, well, as you can see, it's 2 4 to 1 6 favourite St. Columbus. We get plenty of reminders in this game. Rebecca Noon with the ball. Can she level it up? Can she go more? She has the advantage. I think that it's been blown, so it's going to go back for the free. So a free in, and this will be the chance to level the teams for the third time. Rebecca Noon has really come into this match after a few early misses. 1 3 to her name so far. Just waiting for the referee to give the go ahead. Rebecca Noon. 13 meters out, goes for the kick. The umpire goes to the white flag. The ball goes over the bar. Four minutes into the second half. We are level for the third time. It's Dunmore Community School, 1 7. St. Columbus Comprehensive School in County Donegal, 2 4. The short kick out again to Emma McDevitt. Emma McDevitt moves towards the 45 meter line, gives the pass off. A play with the ball in half of the field. This is Ava Caulfield. Ava Caulfield coming up towards the 65. Has the ball. There's Cora Doherty. Cora Doherty's on the move again and has a few yards head start. Gives it back to Ava. Good partnership here with the midfield of Glenties. Goes the grab. Was there a trip? The referee the hand now for a foul beforehand. But I think he's giving the free in for the second one. And St. Columbus will have a chance to go back in front. It looked like there was a bit of a, a trip there now. But the referee be having a chat with someone. He was quick to blow the whistle the second time. So it looks like Quiva Gallagher is going to take this free. And you can hear there. All spare in love and war. Quiva Gallagher with the free. Puts the ball over the bar. Five minutes gone in the second half. And Glenties go back in front. 2-5 to St. Columbus. 1-7 to Dunmore. Plenty of messages coming in. Paul Breslin in Scotland, cheering on Glinties. We hope you're enjoying the coverage. Charlene Hefferin says, good luck Dunmore Community School from Galway Ladies Football. And Alan Lynch, go Dunmore from Kalash to Egnod in Galway City. So plenty of messages. They're in Dubai, they're in Scotland, they're in Dunmore, they're in Donegal. They have the ball again. Queen McGallar takes the pass from Aoife McDermott. Quiva Gallagher gets down on the left-hand side, but Eva Daly is not making it easy. That's the defender for Dunmore. Pass back in the middle of the field. They go quite the supporters for just a moment. They catch their breath. We don't have time to catch ours because we're watching the action of the field of play. Pass off to Cora Doherty. Cora Doherty with a hand pass inside. Looking for Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett with a shot. Off the crossbar. I'm not too sure if that got a touch of the goalkeeper, but it was an opportunity nonetheless. The referee has the hands out, so it's a free shot here for Glenties. And I think we're going back with the free Erie. There's a substitution for St. Columbus nonetheless. Not to take in there as we see what the decision is. But we can tell you that Sinead Porter Murray is coming on the field of play. And she's going to replace Wilton Doherty. So it is a free in for Glenties. There'll be a chance that looks like Mia Bennett is going to take this. And a chance to restore her side's two-point advantage. Here as we look at the clock. Seven minutes gone in the second half. Mia Bennett with the free. The umpire nods the head. I think he likes it. He takes his time, but he goes with the white flag. And the ball has gone over the bar. And it's 2-6 to 1-7 to St. Columbus. They're back two in front. And we restart the action with Eric Diskin. Dunmore will try and work it out from the back. Eva Daly with the kick to Katie Slattery. Katie Slattery might give it back to Eva, she might not. Katie Slattery turns herself, tells the dummy, gains a few yards, good challenge by Eva Caulfield. But this is Megan Healy. Megan Healy, one of two scores with Dunmore in this game. She's coming inside as Megan Healy. The pass across to Rebecca Noon, back to Megan. Megan Healy with a shot, should be a point. It goes over the bar, they were trying to carve open an opportunity, but they'll happily take that 
forward for play for Megan Healy, and it's back to a one point ball game. 1 8 to Dunmore, 2 6 to Glenties. What an enjoyable Wednesday afternoon of football we are having here in Tubber Curry. Cora Doherty on the move again. Send the Gary own ball down towards the attack, but it's won by Eva Daly. Eva Daly gives it off to Shannon Kilgariff. Shannon Kilgariff to Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray tries to get inside, but a good first touch by Emma McDevitt, who has the ball at the moment, but it was her first touch. The turnover possession, Eva McDermott gives it to Caitlin Sweeney. Caitlin Sweeney out the far side to Kayla McHugh. Kayla McHugh taking on Rebecca Noon. Back in defence, the bodies collided, play continues on, but the foul eventually goes to the Donegal player. That'll be a free about 50 yards. Again, the referee is doing a ticking. So, Glenties just want to keep their noses in front in this match. Still over 20 minutes to play. Go kick inside. This might work out nicely. This might work out nicely. Mia Bennett, chance of shot goal! A goal for Glenties! And Mia Bennett puts the ball into the back of the net. I, I think it might be Eva McDermott who took the quick free. But either way, it was a quick one. And Glenties get the goal, and there's four between them, and we're on the move again. Eva McDermott down to Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett, the captain, trying to get inside Dunmore's defenders, do what they needed to that occasion. Alicia Costello with possession brings it up the fields, and it's now going to be Megan Healy to Jessica to uh, Shannon Kilgariff. Shannon Kilgariff with the pass off for Isabel Murray. Dunmore need a response. Rebecca Noon has gotten a goal already. She's getting closer to the goal again. Rebecca Noon trying to get the space. And the defender was in there, a player got a touch. Still with the Dunmore player, back to Isabel Murray. And she sliced the ball, is it good though? It is not to be, it's gone to the right and wide. First wide of the second half. 3-6 to Glenties. 1-8 to Dunmore. Four between them. The biggest margin we have had in this match so far. And Mia Bennett, the captain, the player that put the ball into the back of the net. Ulster has not won this competition in 17 years, but they're strong favourites at the moment. Still a long way to go. Cora Doherty with the ball, gives the pass off to Ava Coffin. Ava Coffin keeps going. Ava Coffin is the player to the left, gives the pass inside. A chance here for Jessica Gallagher. It's another goal for Glintes. And Jessica Gallagher gets her second of the game at St. Columbus Fort. And it's 4 6 to 1 8. And it's all happening now for the Donegal team. Two goals in a row. They just took on the opposition. They found the gap. And Dunmore, you would feel, need to score very, very quickly as Megan Healy sends a crossfield ball down for Sarah Hartness. Sarah Hartnett out the far side of the field. Good cover by Sophie Campbell. She's won the ball back for Glenties. Gives it off to Sinead Porter-Murray. And Sinead Porter-Murray finds a teammate. That teammate is Emma McDevitt. Emma McDevitt wins the free. And Glenties are just on top now at the moment. Uh, everything is going according to plan. And one or two more scores. And it might well be enough to give them an All-Ireland title. The attempted pass towards Quiva Gallagher, doesn't materialise. It's gone out for a sideline kick for Dunmore. There's never been a winner from Donegal in this competition. And, and the team here from South Donegal are 18 minutes away from making history. One goal could change everything. Caitlin Sweeney to Quiva Gallagher. Eva Gallagher moving towards the 45 meter line to Eva McDermott. Eva McDermott with a pass out to the left to Kayla McHugh. Kayla McHugh trying to see. They smell blood, do St. Columbus. Good interception by Katie Slattery for Dunmore Community School. And she'll move the ball up towards the 65 meter line. Needs some support. The support is there from Shannon Gilgariff. Shannon Gilgariff on the 45 meter line. But she go herself. Is there an option inside? Rebecca Noon is to her right. Rebecca Noon goes a bit further. Hand pass out the far side of the fields to Sarah Hartness. Sends it inside, but a cut off there by Rena Doherty. There might be a rebound. Rebecca Noon was in there. Rena Doherty blocked it out, but Glenties hadn't dealt with it, but have dealt with it now. Another chance goes a begging for Dunmore. And Glenties will bring the ball up the fields, past the 45 meter line. 
Important interception there by Katie Slattery. Katie Slattery won an All Ireland Minor Football Championship with Galway last year. Because they're in the All Ireland final. No doubt there's many players who will see here in senior jerseys for Galway and Donegal in the future. Sophie Campbell takes the free. Referee blows the whistle, it's going to be a Dunmore ball. Sophie Campbell, a fast player too. She uh, once won the girls 80 metres in the South Donegal Athletics Championship. And she's shown her ability to quickly cover ground when she's had to. Emma Cannon gives the ball off to Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray looks for Megan Healy. Megan Healy has got four points, hasn't got a goal yet. Then she go in again, absolutely fantastic defending there from Glentes. Just a hand going in there to get the touch to overturn the ball and Dunmore denied again. St. Columbus with the ball. It was the number two, Rena Doherty, who got that touch. Now, this is Cora Doherty. Cora Doherty passes it off. Jessica Gallagher to Ava Coffins. Ava Coffins getting inside Mia Bennett's there. She'll go herself. Uh, probably should have laid it off. Went for the shot herself and hits it wide. That was a chance you would feel to wrap this up. Is that a let off or done more? As they get a substitute ready, Chloe Costello will be on the field to play shortly. 4 6 to 1 8 to St. Columbus. 18 points to 11. We can tell you that Grace Dooley will be the player that will be leaving when the substitution takes place. Hasn't happened yet. Glenties have the ball again. It's all St. Columbus. They're on the move again. Mia Bennett and Jessica Gallagher back to Mia. Mia Bennett with a kick. That one goes wide. But at the moment, they won't mind too much as the substitution is made on the three quarter mark. Chloe Costello for Grace Dooley. Can Chloe Costello be the hero to get done more back in this match? They're hopeful beside me here in the commentary box. A few sad faces, but they'll cheer up for the closing stages. But Glenties have the ball again. And they're just carving open the gaps at the moment. Are the Donegal team, Mia Bennett with a shot. And Mia Bennett puts the ball over the bar. They're just finding a way in. A bit easier at the moment are St. Columbus. And they now lead by eight points. 4-7 to 1-8. Erica Diskin to restart the action. Gives the pass over Shannon Kilgariff. Shannon Kilgariff was top of her year in first year in school in a prestigious match competition. Long ball down towards Megan Healy. Megan Healy with the ball. If there's a player that can get Dunmore back and this is her. Rebecca Noon is the other. Rebecca Noon has the ball. They might need to show some soccer skills here. The pass over to Tifa McDermott. There will be many player of the match contenders for St. Columbus in this game. Eva McDermott will be in the conversation, you would feel. Cora Doherty will be another. She's with the ball. Gets past a few players. Kicks it down towards the attack. And, of course, the captain, Mia Bennett, also a candidate. Cut out there on the occasion by Amy O'Connor. The referee has blown the whistle. There will be plenty of changes happening on the line. We'll keep an eye on those. We're watching the action in the fields as Kayla McHugh with the ball. High challenge goes in. It's going to be a free to Glenties if they don't get something out of this. Eva McDermott going inside. Goes for the kick. If it does go back with the free. Oh, oh no, the advantage is gone. So it is a wide. The hand had been out, but the advantage was over. So it remains an eight point ball game. 13 minutes plus to go. Dunmore need a second goal at least. To get themselves back in this match. Erica Diskin, a goalkeeper, sends it out. Two players collide, but Glenties just getting the third ball and Ava Caulfield is really starting to stamp her authority in this game. The previous winner of the most improved player in Donegal in a single year. Another star for the future, but they're going to be stars today, you would feel. Because Glenties have won a free. It'll be a chance to stretch the margin. We're going to have a change of goalkeeper for Dunmore. Probably after this free, Ella Burns will be coming on the field to play. 
Is it going to happen before? I don't think it is. So Dunmore Community School changed their goalkeeper. Ella Burns gets her opportunity. They're waiting for the free here for Glinties. If this goes over the bar, it'll put nine between them. So everybody goes quiet, respecting the free taker. It's on the 30 meter line to the right of the goal with the left peg. Quiver Gallagher just sliced it, but it stay in play. Not to be, that goes wide. Seven wides in total for Glentees. Seven wides for Dunmore. And Ella Burns gets her first opportunity to kick the ball in this game. They won't give up with Dunmore until the final whistle is blown. They've even their mascot here today, Michael, wearing the green jersey of number one. We're watching the action here as we can see across the shot. Mia Bennett into the back of the net. From the kick out, we were, and the captain gets her second goal. And it's 5 7 to St. Columbus, 1 8 to Dunmore. And you would get the feeling now that is game, set, match, and championship. Mia Bennett with the goal, the captain. And her team are 11 points ahead. What can Dunmore do in the closing stages? As Maeve Hanley's pass to Isabel Murray goes back for a free. It was the kick out for Dunmore and it just overturned straight away. The space was open. The referee having a chat with a Glenty's player here now. And just for the tug. And this might be a potential card. But Glenty's could be finishing this game with 14 players. And they are for the pull of the hand. Presumably the third tick. I think it's Emma McDevitt. She's getting a round of applause from her supporters. Isabel Murray. Done more. Will still believe. Isabel Murray gets a bit closer. That ball goes to the right and wide. Dunmore will look back at their shooting has really let them down they have had plenty of chances in this game but St Columbus have been that more clinical that more ruthless and at the crucial times especially over the last 10 minutes when well, they added 3 goals to their total 5-7 to 1-8 and they'll happily hold the ball now and work this out Rena Doherty Orla Malloy it's a bit early to be playing keep the uppies with the ball but their supporters will enjoy it. Eva McDermott to Cora Doherty. Cora Doherty to Caitlin Sweeney. Back to Cora. Cora Doherty between the 65 meter lines. Moves forward towards the 45. It's intercepted in that occasion by Emma Concannon. She's in the forward for Shannon Kilgariff. Shannon Kilgariff to Eva Daly. Dunmore moved down the left hand side of the field, but. The ball goes out over the line. So it's going to be a sideline for St. Columbus. They've shown their ability to get goals. Mia Bennett, Ebol Carr and Quiva Gallagher all hit the net in their Ulster final win over Bailborough of Cavan. They show their ability to hit points 16 and 15 in their last two games. They've only got seven today, but with the five goals, it's immaterial. Kayla McHugh, another who's worked very, very hard for them. Didn't start the Ulster final. But has played her part here, as is Quiva Gallagher. Quiva Gallagher sent the ball down towards the right. Was hoping that would come for Cora Doherty, but not to be. Dunmore intercept this. And it's going to be a free out. Good play there by Amy O'Connor. The music has been played. Glenty supporters already in party mode. One more player goes to the ground. It's Maeve Hanley. Foul committed by Mia Bennett. Maeve Hanley was a Ross Common under 14 in 2019. So we're just going to have a hold up and play. This will be all added to the time at the end, no doubt. Still over seven minutes of normal time remaining. Hopefully the Dunmore captain is okay. 
I think some of the Glenty supporters wanted to get themselves ready to get on the pitch. Let's see what's going on here now. Challenge came in there on Maeve Hanley, so we'll have a delay in play and Maeve Hanley, the inspiring player for Dunmore Community School. And from the Michael Glavis Club, captain of them this year to win a Connacht senior title and reach an All-Ireland final. There's many young players that were playing in the junior All-Ireland final last year for Dunmore, the likes of Eric Diskin, who started in goal, Eva Daly, Shannon Kilgarov, Alicia Cost, uh, Katie Slattery, Isabel Murray, Rebecca Noon, Megan Healy, Chloe Costello and Sarah Hartnett, who came off the field on the field of play but this is a blow for Dunmore as our captain is gone we'll confirm who's come on in a moment and we're just waiting to see who the substitute will be it looks like it will be Amy Dean so Amy Dean comes on I think she'll be pushed to the attack so there'll be a bit of a rejig now for Dunmore in the closing stages So we've had at least two minute hold up there. That'll be added to the end of the 30. Six minutes of normal time remaining. And of course, wherever you are in the world, we hope you're enjoying our coverage here on Ladies Football TV in association with Stream Sport Ireland. You certainly are. If you are from South Donegal, from Glinty's. That's a foul there, there's a player on the ground so that's just confirmation of the substitution that took place I was just getting a bit stop start the last couple of moments here St Columbus Comprehensive School from County Donegal, 5-7 Dunmore Community School from Galway 1-8 and we have just over 5 minutes of normal time remaining but we're expecting at least 3 or 4 minutes on top of that so the best part of 10 minutes of football remains in this game before one team is crowned All-Ireland Champions Unless no more can find a couple of goals, it looks like the title is heading to Donegal. Katie Sattery with the move. Going forward, but again, a resilient defence. Might have been illegal in that occasion. But just blocks out a Dunmore attack. Referee's given the free in for Rebecca Noon. That's so free will take place just inside the D. Referee telling players to go back. Oh, he's actually thrown it in. Was happy it was a 50-50. And uh, the ball breaks there. And there's an opportunity for a shot by Chloe Costello. And Chloe Costello puts the ball over the bar. Four minutes from time. It's a point. It's their first score in 18 minutes. But can it be the catalyst for a grandstand finish for Dunmore Community School? We will see. Glenties won't make it easy. And straight away they kick out the Quiva Gallagher. Another player who's done everything asked of her in this match. Gives it off to Caitlin Sweeney. Caitlin Sweeney finds Eve Boylecar. Eve Boylecar on the move between the two 65-meter lines, striding up the field. Indeed, it was her who played in for one of the goal-scoring opportunities earlier on. Battle for the ball. Dunmore over Turnus. And this is Amy Dean. Oh, so it's Quiva Galler wins the ball. The referee, I don't think it was like this. So it's going to be a free for Dunmore. Three and a half minutes of normal time remaining. Pass finds Isabel Murray. Isabel Murray just didn't manage to get off the Shannon car, but she was impeded in the process. And it's going to be another free. So Isabel Murray going for the long kick down. Oh, this is great for Megan Healy. A chance here for Dunmore if they can finish it off. Megan Healy, but again, St. Columbus have the players back in the right positions. They have shown defending at its final start. The foul has been committed. It's going to be a free in. But the St. Columbus defenders again, straight away ready to pounce on any space. They learn from the lesson of conceding the goal before half time, and they are making a substitution. So we'll tell you about that in a moment. We can tell you that Shauna Malloy is coming on. And she will come on for Kayla McHugh. And I've no doubt Kayla McHugh will get a round of applause for her efforts in this game. Rebecca Noon will take this free. And just getting a bit stop start at the moment. As the final heads towards its inevitable conclusion. So 
Rebecca Noon will take the free in. Now, what will she do is the question. Kentisa relies during the hold up and play that they better get more bodies on the line. Will Rebecca Noon go low or high? If he asking much to come back now, 10 points between them. But it's moments like this that can stage sensational returns. The referee just wants to be sure everybody's in position. We're going to have our free in. So Rebecca Noon, the Dunmore Community School number 10. Call we under 16 in 2022. Decides to kick the ball over the bar. With just over a minute of normal time remaining. It's now nine points between them. 110 to Dunmore, 57 to St. Columbus. We've had a good few stops now in the last 10 minutes. The goalkeeper, Emily Whittington of Glenties, sends it out, but it's won by Sarah Hartness. Sarah Hartness down the right finds a teammate. This is Rebecca Noon now has the ball. Rebecca Noon just can't find a way inside Orla Malloy. Referee again says a foul committed. Glenty is doing what they have to do. Is the referee having a chat? They're already down to 14 players, let's not forget. And I think Quiva Gallagher is having a chat with the referee. And could she be going off as well? There's a yellow card, and I think it's a yellow card for the number 13 for St. Columbus. So they're finishing with 13 players. But actually, just as one as one is gone off, the other is coming back on. Emma McDevitt is coming back on. Well, she's ready to come on. What is she's let on is the question. So they will be back to 14 shortly. Five minutes of added time. Oh, now, sorry, on the ground there is the number five. So, a lot of applause there for Quiva Gallagher who picked up an injury in the process. So, that's why we've had the long hole up there. It's Rebecca Noon, the player that was on the ground. But she is okay. We're going past the 30 minutes now. Expect at least five more to be played, you would feel. Just checking the challenge from Grieve Gallagher that lets her, her yellow card, Rebecca Noon, on her feet. And now she will take this free. She's hit some big scores in this match, three in the second half. Now one two in the first half, one five in total. Will she make it one six for herself? Drops it in towards the house. I think she was hoping that Chloe Costello would get a hand on that. And the referee says the arms around. So I can tell you that Emma McDevitt has not come back on the field to play yet. So St. Columbus are playing with 13 players. Over one minute of injury time has been played. And they'll be bringing on a substitution as well. The champions elect, you can nearly call them now. Rebecca Noon with low. Don't know if she got the full connection and that as she wanted. But Clenties have won the ball back. And the referee says too many steps against the defender, Eva McDermott. So Dunmore will get another go. Isabel Murray's going to have a crack at this. So it's like a game of forwards and backs the last couple of moments. Change for Glenties. Oh, I'd love to tell you who it is, but we weren't given 27 names on our list. So we'll see if that player does any major moment in the closing stages. Isabel Murray with the kick, but the ball has gone over the bar. So it's a point for Dunmore. Isabel Murray with the free. They've got the last three scores in a row, but that's not going to be good enough. 111 to 57. Emily Whittington with the kick out. Emma McDevitt mad to get back on the line. But of course, it's 10 minutes of play time in ladies' football. We've had a lot of stoppages over that 10-minute period. Cora Doherty is going to take this free. Kicks it forward to Jessica Gallagher, back to Cora. 
Cora Doherty outside the 45 meter line. They're only minutes away from being All Ireland champions. Sophie Campbell. Sophie Campbell pushes forward. Sophie Campbell to Jessica Gallagher. Jessica Gallagher. And she's one of three. They'll be happy to keep this up the side of the field. Cora Doherty is going to take this free. Three minutes of injury time have been played as Emma McDevitt returns. Cora Doherty gets the pass off. 1 2 with Jessica Geller into Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett's going to go for a kick. That looks floating. That looks good. That's gone over the bar. And Mia Bennett, Captain Fantastic, gets the score. And it's now 5 8 to 1 11. St. Columbus Comprehensive School are going to become the first ever All Ireland champions of this competition from Donegal. How much more time will Sligo referee Gus Chapman play in this game? It's giving Glintees another opportunity and they'll keep the ball down here as long as they can. Eva McDermott to Sophie Campbell. Sophie Campbell has pushed up the fields to Jessica Gallagher. Jessica Gallagher gains a few yards. Pass to Mia Bennett. Mia Bennett to Sophie Campbell. And Sophie Campbell will kick it across the corridor. He just over kicked it. But Eve Boyle Carr will be there to cover that. Leaves it off for a teammate. Corridor again. Play with the ball in the middle of the park as the clock ticks away. Four minutes of injury time is gone in this match. E Boyle Carr. They just want to keep it in their hands now. They're back to 14 players. Eva McDermott, the referee, has blown the final whistle. It's all over! And St. Columbus Comprehensive School from Donegal are the All Ireland Senior Seaports Primary Schools Ladies Football Champions of 2024. They won this game by nine points. Two goals in the first half from Jessica Gallagher and E. Boyle Carr gave them an advantage, even though Rebecca Noon had gotten a goal for Dunmore before the break. But it was three goals in a 10 minute spell midway during the second half. Two goals coming from the captain, Mia Bennett, the other whom Jessica Gallagher that gave the Ulster side their match winning advantage Dunmore fought until the very very end they got three late points from Isabel Murray Chloe Costello and Rebecca Noon but couldn't get the goals that they needed and St Columbus are all Ireland champions they've won this game the first ever champions from County Donegal and we'll have a presentation coming up shortly attack our cameraman John Murphy on commentary I was Darren Kelly if you're from Glenties if you're from St Columbus in Donegal or anywhere in the Chirconnell County around the world you're going to celebrate this one because St Columbus Comprehensive School are the All-Ireland Champions and the final score here in Kilcoyne Memorial Park in Tubbercurry 9 point victory for Glinties if it is St Columbus Comprehensive School 5-8 Dunmore Community School 1-11 
Presentation now, please.
Africa's to St. Columbus. It's a fantastic achievement, girls. Uh, you rep have represented your school, uh, represented your, your county, represented your province really well here today. You played wonderful football and you deserve your win. So well done to all of you. Enjoy the celebrations and uh, keep on playing the game. I'll come back again stronger next year, both at school and at county level. So now I'd like to present the cup to the captain, Mia Bennett. Yeah! 